Good day, welcome to our short demonstration of how to set up OneDrive. Uh, the first thing you want to do is click the Start button and then type in OneDrive. Uh, OneDrive app will show up, make sure it's the app and nothing else. Click on that. Then enter uh, your Office 365 account. So if you're inside a company, that would be your corporate account. So in my case, I'm going to use this account, which I'm going to gray out so you can't see it. Click Sign In. And wait just a minute. And it's going to say, look, we're going to move your desktop documents and photos from their default location to a folder under your profile that starts with OneDrive. So uh, make sure you're okay with that, which of course everybody is because you don't really care where they're stored as long as you know. So, little explanation of how OneDrive works, the different icons. Uh, so just very briefly, green check mark means that it is stored uh, on your desktop as well as in the cloud. And the cloud means that it is stored only in the cloud. So those are the two icons you're gonna see the most often. All right, so um, again, here's the explanation of them. Uh, I don't want the mobile app, although there's nothing wrong with using it. It's very handy, but uh, I'm not going to use it for the purpose of this conversation. I'll click, now at this point we're done. Just click open. Um, and what you'll see happening here, let's just uh, go down to the bottom. What you'll see happening is OneDrive will start syncing. Now I've already had OneDrive set up on this machine. So my files are already here, but if yours are not, you'll see them streaming on. Now, initially what it's going to do is just put shortcuts on from the cloud. And as you double click on files, it will actually download them to your machine and it will sync them back and forth. Okay, so now what you want to do is just make sure that it's set to uh, backup and protect the uh, uh, all of the different files that you've got. So uh, let's uh, go down to the bottom of the screen. Uh, you probably have to click the little up arrow and select uh, the cloud here. What you want to do is right click on it, not left click, but right click on it and select settings. Then in settings, go to backup and click manage backup. And if these three are not selected, click start backup and then deal with any problems that come up. Now, the only problems that you'll see are, uh, used to be file size was a very big one, but that's not uh, an issue anymore for, for the majority of people. It used to be a 10 gig limit uh, per file, but you can now have much larger files, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, keep in mind that for most people, you're done. This will just work. But there are a few invalid file types, uh, and you can see there's a list that Microsoft has. Um, let's take a look at the uh, invalid file types. And here they are. So files, .lock, con, prn, print files, aux. If you have files with these names in them, they're just not going to back up, and they're just not going to sync. Also, if you have files or folders that have names that contain these special characters, shouldn't be possible, but if you've FTP files in it, it could happen, you may have troubles as well. So you have to go fix those files, change the file names, whatever you need to do. Anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comments at the bottom and we'll give you a hand. Thank you. Bye-bye.